It's pretty quiet here on Montana Avenue at this time of the morning, long before the sun comes up. The only light you'll usually see is right here at Veronica's Pastry Shop. But that's the kind of commitment it takes to be named one of the best bakers in the country. My goal was to do something that people cannot find in Billings. Mission accomplished. Over the last five and a half years, Veronika Gerasimova has made literally tens of thousands of European and Russian style pastries like these. They're like my babies. Today's menu features all of her classics, Danish, croissants, and her number one seller, the Queen Amman. Veronica makes them all in this one woman space she found after quitting her local government job. It's scary right. to quit a good job, good pay, health insurance, all the benefits, but it's okay. Human can do pretty much anything. Seriously, they're just afraid. Starting a bakery was nothing compared to immigrating to the U.S. from Uzbekistan with her 12-year-old daughter, $500, and not a single word of English. She's come a long way. Okay, so this is my favorite part. Open the shop, turn the sign. Customers are inside within minutes of opening on this morning. Oh, it smells like heaven! All eager to talk about one thing. Have we heard about the James Beard Award yet? She's a finalist. I am. I had to say it because Veronica is too shy to brag about the fact that she's been listed as one of the five best pastry chefs in the country by the prestigious James Beard Foundation. Insane. Still don't believe it. And um, sometimes I feel like I don't deserve that because I have no culinary degree. I just do the way how my grandma used to do it. And, and it works. I have one with guava. <gasps> oh I want that guava one. There are always plenty of repeat customers, but more first-timers are starting to show up early. Come on in, come on in, guys, come on in. Like these two from Miles City. And bring some for my husband, so. <laughs> oh, how nice. Or this couple from Park City. Uh, this is like date night only in the morning, kind of. <laughs> yeah, I've been seeing all this news about her nomination, so I was like, I have to finally get there and try her pastries. Veronica will find out June 5th if she's won the James Beard Award. If she does, the line might get a little longer, but don't expect much else to change inside this shop built on love. You know, I don't really consider it to work. It just thinks that I love to do. And making money is just a bonus, I guess. I like that. See, she's already a winner. In Billings, Casey Common, MTN News.